Welcome to CAD Tutorials, and in this video, I'll be covering practice problem 9.12. Now, given this problem over here, we are asked to find I, which is the current. Right? So, as you see, none of the impedances are in series or parallel, so which calls for Y delta transformation. Now, you can basically start at any point, or you can basically transform any section. You can choose this section, transform this delta into a Y, or transform the top delta into a Y. So what I basically did is to transform the top delta into a Y, and that is what I have over here. And therefore, that same I would be going into this network on this side. So the reason why I transformed this into a Y so that I can have a value for the total impedance and therefore use the formula which says voltage is equal to impedance multiplied by I. Since we're interested in finding I, we are going to say V, which is the supplied voltage, divided by Z, which is the total impedance, right? So the first step is to find the total impedance of this network over here. So let's do our Y uh, transformation. And this is how you basically do it. To find the value of RA, which would be situated somewhere here, if we were to draw it in this delta at the top. So RA, this is basically what you do. This is what I use to remember how to do these formulas. So to transform to a Y, you look at the two impedances which RA is found in between. And these two impedances are J4 and 8 plus J5. So 8 plus J5. So those are the two impedances which RA finds itself in between. And after that, you divide by the sum of all the impedances in the delta. So J4 subtract J3 is just J, and then J added to J5 is J6, and then added to 8, which means the result of all of this is 8 plus J6. So this bottom part of the addition of all the, the impedances in the delta will always be the same because we have the same um, impedances in the same delta. So for all these values, for all these values, the denominator is going to be the same, right? So this is RB and this is RC. Let's just let this focus. Okay, it won't focus, I don't know why. So everything is going to be divided by A plus J6, right? Then what you do for the other ones or what you do to find the value of each, you look at the two impedances which it finds itself in between. So to find RB, RB would be situated somewhere here. And you look at the two impedances which it finds itself between. So we have negative J3 and you multiply them. So we have negative J3 over here. And you have 8 plus J5 on the other side, right? And finally, we look at RC. RC would find itself in between J4 and negative J3. And therefore, to find RC, you'd multiply J4 and negative J3, dividing by the same sum of all the impedances which form the delta, right? So just basically punch all of these into your calculator. And the results should be RA should be equals to 3.77 with an angle of 85.14 degrees, right? And your RB should be 2.83 with an angle of negative 94.86 degrees, right? And RC should be 1.2 with an angle of negative 36.87 degrees. So now that we have all of these values, you'll see that this RA is in series with this value or this impedance. And this RB is in series with these. This are uh, 10, 10 ohm impedance, right? So you can basically add these two and the result will be one huge impedance, right? One huge impedance. And now these two impedances, these two results in impedances, are in parallel with each other because they share two nodes, right? So now let's write a formula for the equivalent or for the total impedance. So the total impedance is therefore equals to 
RA added to the impedance which was over here. So RA added to the impedance which was over here because they're in series. And this is going to be in parallel with RB added to the impedance which is over here, which is essentially just RB plus 10. Right? So this is, and this side is going to be parallel to that part. I already said that. And that is what this means. This side is going to be parallel to this side. Then after finding the parallel combination of this, all of this will be one huge impedance, right? Now this one huge impedance will not be in series with RC and therefore we add RC to find the total impedance. And therefore over here we're going to say plus RC. So now punching in all of these values which we found, we can basically find your total impedance and the total impedance is 4.71 with an angle of negative 3.8 degrees, right? And now we proceed to find our current I, which is what we are actually interested in, right? So I is equal to V divided by Z, and V is given to us in the question as the voltage shows of value 30 with an angle of zero, which is the same as just the constant 30, right? Divided by this ZT, which we found to be 4.71, with an angle of negative 3.8. So you can basically do this manually or just punch it into your calculator. And you find that I is equals to 6.364 with an angle of 3.8 degrees. This is your current. So the value or the unit is amperes, which is A. And that is your final answer. Now you can transform this answer into a sinusoid, but in this question, it wasn't required. Uh, so this is basically your answer for this for this question.